guys, welcome to the Superhero Cut Show, where we're talking things Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. It's your boy, Stevie Hayes, and today I want to talk to you guys about the Ahsoka Show, because obviously episode three just aired, technically, uh, you know, yesterday or two days ago, whichever, and I want to talk to you guys about Sabine Wren, because there's been a lot of, you know, folly and a lot of hate going around for Sabine, and now, I don't even want to say hate, but a lot of people don't understand, you know, what is going on with Sabine, and I want to kind of give you guys some insight on you know, force sensitivity and things like that, okay? Because we just got to nip some things in the butt, okay? So here is the, the deal. George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars himself, said that everyone in the Star Wars universe is force sensitive. George had said that everyone in the Star Wars galaxy is force sensitive. Everybody, every single person, even Watto. Everyone has the force in them, everyone. And there's two sides to the force. The dark side, which is selfishness, and the light side, which is compassion. So we all struggle to keep these two things in balance, and hopefully we're able to move it a little bit more toward the bright side. It's And George Lucas said it. The Star Wars archive said it. If you want to go, if you don't believe me, go look at Star Wars Theory. He's done. Uh, he did a video on it months ago that I really liked, um, which, you know, I, I, I go to his content to learn more about Star Wars and stuff like that. But he made a video about that scene where George Lucas said that, you know, it isn't a sequel trilogy thing. It's always been that way, that every person in the Star Wars universe is force sensitive. Now, the difference is, obviously, people have levels of force sens sensitivity and talent means something. And, you know, obviously, there's other, you know, things to it. But And so I think a lot of people are getting a little uh, frustrated because they think that Sabine Ren to become like this the next Mandalorian Jedi. Now, here is my theory on that. I do not believe she's going to be looked at as the next Mandal Mandalorian Jedi. I don't think enough time is going to pass in the show for her to become like a super force sensitive, like monster, you know, mostly because of the fact that I just don't think that she has the time to do that, nor does she have the talent because talent does play a role in how powerful you're going to be, right? Take a look at Luke Skywalker and Anakin. I mean, think about when Anakin first went to the Jedi Council, he is literally like, when Mace Dwendu had those things up, he's literally like looking through the stuff and reading it because he's just, just, just talented. The kid was just powerful. So I have a couple of things that I believe that can possibly happen. Okay. You might think these are far fetched, but I think they'll make sense as time go, goes along. Number one, Sabine could do a couple of things. So Sabine could become, um, and this is what I think is what happened. I believe that Sabine is going to, become kind of sort of a Bo-Katan type of fighting style of a character. I don't believe that Sabine is going to figure out how to train in the force like Ahsoka, like Ahsoka is training her. I, I don't think she's going to accomplish that because she doesn't have the, the, the talent. So I believe she could possibly go to someone like Bo-Katan or train the same way, you know? And I can see a situation where her fighting style is similar to a Bo. And, you know, when I'm looking at Bo-Katan with that Darksaber – she is able to cook almost anybody because she just she has the fighting skill. She's not really like she's not really a very force sensitive person. And, you know, I mean, that's why she was so skilled with, with it when we saw it in the Mandalorian uh, show. So I believe that she could adapt that fighting style. Now, I was thinking that maybe she would get the, the Darksaber back to fight Shin, but I'm not really sure how true that that is. Where whereas, you know, literally she's ruling the Mandalores again. So I'm, I don't, I'm not sure how that would even possibly work. But. I do believe that, you know, she's going to adopt that kind of fighting style and that's going to help her, you know, become a better fighter. Um, but the fact that she has some force sensitivity in her, it is not like that's not a bad thing. And it and it is it is within what George it, it is within George Lucas's constraints for the Star Wars universe. And I love that idea. So that's that's the explanation of it, man. She is force sensitive. Everyone is. Don't get mad about it. George Lucas said it first. Dave Filoni is just continuing what he said. So I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, have a wonderful day and peace out.